Um, and so <laughs> I farted. <laughs> Everybody, it's Kristen and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if this is your first video I'm super super excited today to be filming my Korea winter haul I definitely got a great response from all of you guys when I filmed my Korea summer haul as well as my Korea summer vlog And I thought it would only be appropriate to be filming the winter haul I did get a few things But I would say that I didn't get as much as I did from the summertime only because our suitcases were limited Especially because we had a lot of jackets and layers to pack so I was keeping that in mind and then also so to answer your guys' questions, yes, there will be a Korea winter vlog. However, because my school semester is starting up again, I can't promise you guys that that video will be up immediately after. And because there is a lot of footage, I was there for 19 days. I don't think I can quickly edit it because I do want it to be a really memorable and fun video for you guys to watch, as well as for myself to to watch for the future. So please hang tight. I hope you guys are subscribed or if you haven't, subscribe right now as well as turning on your post notifications so you guys will know when that next video comes out. I also have the Korea summer haul as well as the summer vlog linked down below so make sure to check that out if you guys haven't watched those already. Also, I thought it'd be nice to have a nice organized haul. If you guys are interested in only one part of the video, I have all my timestamps linked down below so make sure to check those out. If you guys are here for the long ride, that is so great. I'm so happy you guys are going to watch the whole thing and I I have definitely said a bunch of things before this video had started, so without further ado, I think let's get into this haul. Let's get started! Yay! So for the first portion, we are going to start with the clothing. Yeah. So for clothing, I must say that I actually didn't get that much. As I mentioned previously, it was really hard for us to pack in one suitcase. It was limited. I did want to bring an extra suitcase or like a duffel inside my luggage. I don't know why I didn't do that. So for you guys traveling in the winter time in Korea or somewhere cold, keep that in mind. That is a pro tip. So I think this portion of the video will be kind of quick. So let's get to it. Starting off with Uniqlo, I only got two pants. I got these. I actually don't know what the name is called. My mom is really, really like organized and tidy. So as soon as we buy the pants and we get home, she likes to take off the tags. So I don't know what this one is called. It doesn't say anything. I can tell you that these are nice, stretchy, classy slacks. I really like the material. My older sister paired this with some Doc Martens and a turtleneck, a tight turtleneck so she could tuck it underneath the pants. And I think it's just like a nice, classy yet effortless look. I like how it doesn't have a button because it's always nice to have some extra room for anywhere you eaten. You know what I'm saying. Next up, I got a pair of black jeans and these are really nice. They got two little distressed holes right in the middle of the knee area. So I really like that. I don't have distressed jeans. So I was really excited to see that these fit at Uniqlo. And I also like the bottom. It's kind of like, it's, it's not like a what, what do you call that? It's, it's really stretchy and it's just, it's just nice, all right? It's just nice. So that is everything that I got from Uniqlo. Up next, we are going up to A-Land. I love A-Land. I would say that A-Land is one of my favorite Korean stores. I always look forward to going there whenever I go to Korea. I did get other things from A-Land, but that will be later on in the video because like I said, I categorized each thing. I got this really, really cute turtleneck and it is from the brand Sculptor. And I just really like how it's colorful and I got really cute colors. I'd say that this is a spunky fall turtleneck that you want to add in your closet. And I think I can also see myself wearing this turtleneck with the previous Uniqlo black slacks and some Doc Martens. You know, older sisters give you some inspiration. I just noticed that this is just a really nice colorful turtleneck. You don't see this all the time, so very happy that I got it. I'm putting this in the clothing portion because it's used for my clothing, but it is considered an accessory, but whatever, right? So we're just gonna add this in here real quick. I got three belts. I have been needing belts for quite some time. So I got this really nice brown belt and it's just a really, really nice standard dark brown. The buckle is just like a standard square. This is from the brand 3.3 Field Trip. So I got this one and then I got two black ones. This black one is the same exact one as that brown one, same like buckle, but just in black. And then I also got one very, very similar to both of them, except for the buckle being a circle so really really stoked that I got these belts and that is everything for the clothing portion this is the beauty portion of the video eat eat ya Kristen stop <laughs> let's start with Olive Young 
in a summer haul video, I said, I'll live young. I will live young, I think. I honestly think that that might be the reason why they named it Olive Young. Because it's like, I will live young. Like, I'll live young. You want to live young? Go to the store. I'm not trying to be humorous. I'm being serious. I got these 50 pieces travel cotton swab. And they're not just any typical cotton swabs. This does kind of hurt the environment, but they are indeed convenient. If you're ever in a rush and you know that your makeup is going to smudge, not to worry. Because these cotton swabs have plastic on them. So I know you can buy like the travel plastic little cover with all the cotton swabs inside from like Target or whatnot. But then this is also really, really nice because you can just take one or just take two. And I know I will definitely be putting these in my bag whenever I wear makeup. So that is the first thing. My two sisters and my mom went to Olive Young one day without me. I don't know what I was doing, but I don't think I like wanted to go. But my sister surprised me with the Dr. Jart Sick Pear Facial Calming Mist. This is what it looks like. If you guys didn't watch my unboxing haul recently, I don't remember what I tiled it. It's in the cards up here. If you didn't watch that video, then you don't know that I got this Sick Pear Holiday Set from Sephora. And I've been using their products recently a lot more. And I really, really like them. Thank you, Catherine. I have a very rosy face, especially in the cheeks and chin area. Hopefully, it gets better throughout time. This series is really good to reduce redness so so I'm very happy about that and then lastly from Olive Young I got two lip colors I got two lipsticks these are from the three concept eyes style Nanda brand and I got two matte lip colors one in number 909 smoked rose and one in number 115 must if you guys aren't wondering what lip color I'm wearing today this is the 909 smoked rose I really really like the color and I will open it for you guys I definitely put it back in the packaging you know, you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes and yeah So this is what the packaging looks like really simple and sleek and you open it up I'll also do a swatch for y'all because I'm generous. So that is the color. It's really really pretty I like how it's kind of like a dark slight orange pigment, but like a nice pomegranate You know what I'm saying? I don't know what I'm saying, but I'm saying it. I said it. All right. I don't know what I'm saying anymore, you know what I'm saying? The next one that I got is uh, the 115 Musk, and I actually haven't worn this one yet. So let's open this one up, because I haven't used it yet, so. You're a little difficult today. Mm. Okay, there we go. All right, so then this is the next color. This is a little bit lighter. So I'd say like this is like a nice nude mauve, and yes, I will swatch this for you guys also so you can definitely see the difference i'd say that this is like a nice neutral color any season honestly and then this one is really nice particularly for the fall slash winter seasons so that's everything from all of young next up is etude house so I got four things from Etude House. I'm gonna start off with these really nice hand creams. These are the Butter Plop hand creams. I got one in fresh cream butter and one in cheddar cheese. I think that the packaging is really interesting because it's like butter and whatnot. They got cows in the front. So it looks like butter inside. Whipped butter or like the, I cannot believe it's not butter. So I have this Chloe perfume. It's the one with like the bow that's like not a light pink, but a darker pink. I'll try to pull up a image of it here, but it smells exactly like that anytime I am out and about and I'm trying to make myself smell good or if I forgot to put on that perfume or if I'm just trying to be extra and I want my hands to smell like my perfume that I'm wearing this is perfect for it and then this one is the fresh cream butter <coughs> thank you thank you for blessing me and this one just straight up smells like ya yaju cha yaju cha yaju cha I think it's called Yoju Cha. I sound really American, like my accent is thick and what I just said. It's like a really well-known drink that's like a tea in Korea. Yoju Cha means parking, apparently. No, that's that's not that's not it. Yuja Cha, that's what it is. Yuja Cha. So it's Korean citron tea and it comes in like these kind of jars, but basically that's what it smells like and it smells really good. It's like a nice orange clean citrus scent. Next up, I got two things that kind of are like good for each other. The first one that I got is the Dr. Mascara Fixer. This is for the Volume Up Curl Fix Coating Fix. And this is a nice base that you should 
should apply before mascara. My sister Catherine is like a true believer that this is the reason why her lashes stick up all day long. Sometimes my lashes go down during the day. I use the Dior Mascara Lash Base. I'm not getting like the best results, but my sister says that this is a really good one and I've had it in the past. I didn't really notice a difference, but maybe, maybe this time there will be. And then for the actual mascara, I thought it'd be nice to pick up the Lash Perm Curl Fix Mascara Long Lash. 24 hours apparently. That is everything from Etude House. I did get some samples, but I'm not really interested in showing you guys the samples and I don't know if you guys are interested either. So we're just gonna pass that. Next up from Boots, I got the Lily by Red Mood Liar Velvet Tint and I got it in the color number 6. Hashtag 치명적인 석류 인척. I sound so bad at speaking Korean and honestly, I feel like my Korean has died down. I'm getting a little concerned, but I'm watching Sky Castle, the Korean drama right now with my mom and my sisters. It's getting heated, guys. It really is. My sisters and I and my grandma and my mom when we were in Korea, we binge watched six episodes in one day. It was pretty intense. It's not coming out. You guys know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna rip this because I'm not gonna need the packaging. And I like the packaging for starters. <laughs> Oh, that was a good one. Excuse moi. This is the tint, and it is like a pretty dark, uh, what's that called? It's just dark, man. I don't know what to name this. I'd say it's like a, a dark black cherry. It looks a little bit more red, like a cherry red on camera. I promise you, I ain't lying, all right? Last but not least, from Innisfree, I just got one thing. At the time, I didn't have hand cream, and my hands were getting so dry. So I was like, all right, let's go to Innisfree and pick me up some hand cream. So I got the Orchid Hand Cream SPF 15, and I really, really like the smell. It's just a really nice smell, guys. I'm so bad at describing, and I feel like in these long videos when I'm like showing you guys all these things, I get tired of describing them, but if you know what the smell of Orchid is like, I'm assuming that's what it smells like. I got this hand cream from Innisfree. Done. That's it. Last but not least in the beauty portion, I got one more thing, and it's from Chanel. Did I get it for myself? No. My kind cousin Beatrice got this for my sisters and I. And what it is, is a really, really nice Rouge Coco Shine Hydrating Sheer Lip Shine in the color Monte Carlo number 62. Yeah, I've never owned anything from Chanel. And I'm so excited to be owning something from Chanel that is a really, really nice lip color. So pretty. And it's moisturizing. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Look at that. It is a natural color that I will wear frequently. If you're watching this, Beatrice Ani, thank you so, so much. I love it tons. So that concludes the beauty portion of this video. Up next is purses slash bags. Yeet. <laughs> All right, so the first thing I'm gonna show you guys is something that I've already opened and have been using frequently and I love it so much. It is an Adidas fanny pack. It's really, really loose in the strap because I like to wear my fanny packs like this and I was wearing a jacket that was a little thicker earlier so it's like loosey-goosey currently and I really like the pockets. They're really, really, really nice. Like for starters, at the very front, you can fit things in here. In the back, there is a nice big spacious pocket which I do have things in here currently and then there's another side pocket here. Yeah, overall, it's just like a nice, solid bag that you can use every day. Every day, I'm telling you. And then, kind of like a set, I decided it'd be nice to have a gym bag just to put my tennis shoes, my sports bra, tank top, shorts. That's it. And this fits it all. So this looks exactly like the fanny pack, except this is just a lot bigger. It's a nice bag. It's really small, like you can see here, but it can definitely fit everything that I, I had said earlier. And yeah, if I'm at school for a longer period of time and I just want to hit the gym on campus, then I can always just like like carry this along with my backpack. So I think it'll be nice to use. Real quick, I got this from my grandma. My grandma likes to give my sisters and I things that she had owned for a while or she doesn't use anymore. Yeah, on the last day, she was just pulling out tote bags that she doesn't use. And for this one, I'm really excited. It's super cute and pretty. It's from the brand Etro. You can never go wrong with the tote bag. And last but not least in the bags slash purses category, I have this one bag and it's from the brand Fennec. This is my favorite brand from Aland, and Fennec actually is carried at this store called 10 by 10 and I am so excited that I got this bag. I would like go on the website for Alien a lot throughout the summer to winter span because I was writing some things down that I would want and this was one of the things and they didn't carry it at Alien so I was a little sad but then when I was at 10 by 10 which is a really cool stationary store they have purses, clothes, it's just like everything in one place, good quality things. I noticed that this was there, it was the last one and I was like yeah I need that. <laughs> 
I am just roaring today. I'm sorry. You can just carry it like this. Or if you want the strap, the strap is there. So that's everything for the purses slash bags. Yay, yay. Moving on. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okie dokie. So this is the accessories portion of the video. I got a bunch of socks and I'm just gonna quickly show them. Yay. Woo. Nice bear. It's a real Akuma bear. Warm socks. Warm socks in black. Nice. Gucci, but fake Gucci. So Fuji. Now these are socks from Red Eye. Yay. Glittery black socks. Yay. Glittery red socks. Yay. A, a, a lower ankle crew sock that's also in black. These are longer. Yay. Sparkly yellow gold socks. And that's it for socks. And then we're going to move on to scrunchies. I love my scrunchies. So these are all, again, from the market section in my grandparents neighborhood i got a cute like pink striped scrunchie a cute sparkly dark pink scrunchie a basic black scrunchie and then in the red eye store i got four scrunchies this really cute casual got a little bow scrunchie a really cute fuzzy ball scrunchie another cute fuzzy ball scrunchie and then a nice flannel like plaid scrunchie. Going back to the 10 by 10 store, I also found the Fennec keychain there, but it looks like this and it's like a nice black tassel and you can just attach your keys to it. And then speaking of Fennec, this is a wallet that I actually got from A-Land and it came in this box. I was originally going to be like, oh my goodness guys, I've never opened it before. But, oh my gosh, guys, I got a new wallet. Let's see. Never seen it. Oh, also, if you guys are wondering, this is the Fennec Triple Pocket. And then I was going to be like, wow. But I've been using it like every day for like the past two weeks. This is like a really simple, nice wallet. Let me tell you why I love it. Open it like this. Well, bam, it comes with three card holders and then you can also have an extra card in this area, in the inside area. So you can add an extra card in between. So technically it fits six cards and then you got your cash in this section. And then for your coins or if you need more cards to be fitted in your wallet, you got this section. So right now there is a Polaroid of me and my boyf. Yeah, it fits cards, it fits coins, it fits everything. And it's so small and compact. So that's why I love it. Up next, I got this really cute keychain. Tigger is my favorite Disney character because I love tigers and also he's just really cute. And I was going around Hongdae and they were having like these small little pop-ups on the side of like the street. So I thought that this would be cute to attach to my little tassel thingy. It was around like $4 I'd say in terms of like US dollars. But it's like a really cute small Tigger. For the last portion of accessories, I got a new pair of glasses. These make me look so much smarter and a lot more Korean, I would have to say. What you think guys you like it you don't i don't care it was my decision if you don't like it it's fine i feel like that these are really really nice simple glasses i feel like a lot of koreans do own this pair it's a very simple lightweight design the previous glasses that i have like the crystal clear ones they are really nice and fashionable but they're a bit heavier and they are a little uncomfortable so i'm glad that i got a new pair i feel like i still will like switch out here and there with the glasses based on my fashion <laughs> It sounds like these are just fashion glasses, but TBH, you know? If you guys are wondering, I need glasses because in the middle of class or when I'm reading for a long period of time or on the computer, my eyes do get a little fuzzy. Yeah, so my vision isn't terrible at all. It's nice to just have an extra bit of more clearness, you know what I'm saying? So I've said you know what I'm saying a lot throughout this video. I'm sorry. This is the jewelry portion of the video. Three different places. I'm gonna start off with I Am Joy. I got three sets of gold hoop earrings. As you can see, there are no gold hoops in this one, and that is because I replaced these earrings with the gold hoop I'm wearing currently. So that is the first thing I have to show you in this haul for the, the hoops. The second one that I got were these smaller hoops, and then the last one I got were bigger hoops. Next up, I got this from also another store in Hongdae. This is from the brand Aver Studio, and these are just nice sparkly gold hoops that are pretty lightweight. They look heavy, but they're not. And these were for 8,000 won. I really like the whole scheme where you wear something basic on the top, bottom, but then your accessories are like fleeky. So hopefully I can do something like that in the future with these. From A-Land, one more time, I got two pairs of earrings and the A-Land earring brands are from 3.3 Field Trip. They're the same brand as the belt that I got earlier. And I got one in gold and one in silver. I feel like these are really, really cute. And they were both for 6,800 won. That's it. 
So that concludes the jewelry portion of this video. Next up is stationery. Yay, 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 yay. So for stationery, I'm really surprised with myself that I didn't get that many things, but I noticed how I've been getting so many things in the past, but I'm not using them to their full potential or just in general not using them. So I was like, Kristen, save your money and spend your money on things you're actually going to use. Oh, yes, Kristen Preach, future Kristen Preach, I know. I ended up only getting four tapes and one sticker set. And these are all from the store 10 by 10 as I was mentioning earlier. I think that these are nice for maybe in my journal or if I want to put these on top of like a Polaroid picture. And lastly, from 10 by 10 as well as the last thing for the stationary portion, I got these vintage label stickers from the brand Fence. T-H-E-N-C-E -E, and it comes with two sheets and I really like all the stickers here I've just noticed a lot in like the redecorate my room with me videos They like to add a cute sticker on top of like a postcard or a, a Polaroid picture And it really does add some personality to the room I thought it'd be nice to get some for myself That concludes the stationary portion of this video Yes, I am also surprised Last but not least, this is the tech accessories portion of the video Yes, I got fancy <laughs> So for the last thing, it is only one phone case. I got this case from Kosok Terminal. This is a really, really pretty moon and it trickles down with some stars case. And it's a nice black one and I got it for the iPhone XR. If you don't know, I got a new phone. So maybe in the future when I start collecting more phone cases, I will have an iPhone case collection for this phone. But yeah, it's just a really nice basic black case that has a little bit of personality. All right, everybody, that is it for this whole video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, please, please, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And also let me know what you guys liked in this video. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure to hit the subscribe button now with the post notification bell, of course. Don't forget to follow me on all my socials. I'm mainly on my Instagram and Snapchat, so they will be here as well as everything in the description box. I feel like that's everything I needed to say. I love you all so, so much. Thank you so much for watching today's video. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.